We're back with the Republican Senator Jeff Flake of Arizona. He's a member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Uh, Russia's also announcing amidst all of this plans to potentially build nuclear reactors, new nuclear reactors, Senator Flake, inside Iran at a time of these negotiations are going on. Here's the question. Do you trust Putin to oversee what's supposedly going to be a, a p peaceful nuclear program inside Iran? No, I, I don't think anybody uh, trusts him there. So I'm anxious to see what that proposal is. But uh, as far as trusting Putin, uh, I don't. And I don't know of any of my colleagues that do. You, are you uh, hopeful that the U.S. and these other permanent members of the Security Council in Germany reach a deal with Iran by November 24th to end well, its nuclear program? Obviously, all of us would like a deal uh, if it sticks uh, for them to uh, to end their nuclear program. Um, but uh, obviously, uh, many of us are skeptical as well that they'll get to that point. So, but, uh, but I, for one, I, I want a deal. I think all of us want a good deal, but not a deal for the sake of a deal. Some of your colleagues, Rand Paul, who's a Republican, Tim Kaine, who's a Democrat, they're raising questions about the U.S.-led war against ISIS in Syria and Iraq, whether the president has the legal authority to do it. Uh, some are suggesting that maybe they, that what the uh, president is doing is illegal. You say what? I say uh, the president should come to Congress. Uh, put it, putting the legal aspect aside, uh, you ought to have buy-in. Uh, if you want to, to have our allies with us, in a war that's going to last a long time, long beyond this presidency, uh, then he ought to come to Congress for a new AUMF. So uh, putting whatever legal you know, arguments aside, he needs to do that. So do you think it is legal what he's doing right now? You know, I, I, think, uh, I think responding to threats uh, to America is, is under the Constitution. He has an Article II power there. So I wouldn't put it that it's illegal, but if he wants to be effective over time, and if the U.S. As a, as a whole wants to be effective, then the president ought to come to Congress because uh, you're unlikely to get our allies to be with us as well uh, if they know that it's going to be a back and forth battle between Congress and the president. So he needs to come to the Congress. He needs a new AUMF. All right, so you're just back from Havana, Cuba, uh, and you, you had a chance to meet with the American prisoner, Alan Gross. He's been in that Cuban prison now for five years. Uh, I, I think you said you feel that uh, there are efforts underway, maybe closer to freeing him right now. First of all, how did the visit go? What, what do you think? Can Alan Gross be free? Well, it was, it was nice to meet with him. I can tell you, he has been through a... I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. I would say uh, uh, he's been through a lot in five years. Uh, my hat's off to him for, for, uh, for keeping the faith. And, uh, you know, he's got to feel abandoned. Uh, you know, to be there for five years. And uh, I can just tell you, I, I think the world of him, and uh, I, I hope we can get him freed. He wants to come home. And, and uh, we, we need to make that happen. I know you were there with uh, Senator Udall. How much time did you get to spend with uh, Alan Gross? Uh, we were there for a full two hours. And uh, we could have spent a, another few if we would have been able to. Uh, he was uh, very engaging, and, uh, and certainly he... He is well informed uh, about his situation there and extremely articulate uh, on these issues. But he's just been through a lot. Uh, his family's been through a lot. And, uh, and he wants to come home. How's he, his health? He because his, some of his family members, his wife and others, they've raised questions about his deteriorating health. I'll leave that to his family to, to, to talk about. I don't want to characterize it. Uh, but uh, I'll just say that. Uh, it was, it was great to meet with him. We had a very good conversation for a couple of hours. I know in the past the Cubans, uh, the Cuban government, they've uh, said uh, they'll free him, but they want a Cuban prisoners held in American jails to be released. Is that what they told you on this visit? That, that, that's been their script, and they've stuck to it, and they, they stuck to it on this visit. Uh, so I, I don't think uh, they're going to tell us anything differently, a couple of senators down there. Uh, but uh, you, you've got to hope that they realize, Cubans realize, that any public relations value that they think they had is, is certainly gone. And uh, just hope that they, uh, for whatever reason they want to, uh, they just release him. He needs to come home. Would you support a prisoner exchange? No, uh, I, I will leave that to the president. I'll leave that to the administration. Uh, that's not for me to decide.
Jeff Flake, uh, the senator, uh, member of the Foreign Relations Committee, uh, thanks very much uh, for joining us. Uh, thanks for your report on what's going on in Cuba right now as well.